In quiet seclusion on a doving day, Arthur sat at his desk filled with dismay. No tasks at hand and nothing to do, he decided to go to the kitchen to make himself a brew. As he moved down the corridor, his stomach started to growl as he rushed to the bogs to empty his bowels. With a push and a shove and a single tear, he felt some droppage as a beer fairy appeared. It was fat and pink with a beer glass in hand with brightly coloured wings that constantly flapped. Surely this was an hallucination as he started to laugh. Maybe it was a stroke or a long overdue acid flashback. Stunned and dismayed, confused and aghast, he brushed it away to wipe his ass. But the fairy stayed put and balanced in the air and with a Yorkshire accent began to declare, I dub you a beer snob, a connoisseur of the ale, a craft beer expert who will pave the way in eradicating communal lager with insistence on quality. The bad old days of the sparkler will just be a memory. I now knight you and offer you a quest to seek out other beer snobs to spread the message. Fuck off, Arthur responded, calling the beer fairy a crank. Not believing a word certain that this was a prank, the beer fairy was disgruntled and soon turned threatening as he grabbed Arthur by the collar and whispered menacingly, Now listen here, you specky, let's not, let's not fuck about. What I'm offering you can't miss. Take the chance, the beer fairy persisted, and I'll make you famous, you'll be dripping in bitches. But how do I accomplish this, Arthur demanded to know, as the fairy summoned up a guitar and with the power of three chords, sang him songs about terrible liars, about living from dusk till dawn, on Sam Smith's and stale pies. It's really quite simple, this is all you need. Now go out and seek a bass player by the name of Cool Breeze. Arthur was ecstatic and full of excitement, he jumped off the porcelain throne and didn't even bother to wipe. As he left the confinement of his boring job and headed to every open mic night in search of other beer snobs. Then one fateful evening in between the four cacks, Arthur was approached by a man in a flat cap. It was Cool Breeze, an undercover backseat lover who pumps his loins from Grimsby to the ghost, who plays bass like no other and leaves women on their knees, the gust with the most, they call him Cool Breeze. It will be my honour to aid you in this mission, Cold Breeze stated without hesitation as the beer fairy reappeared and told them to seek another member to help spread the word of their revolutionary agenda. As they met the bastard who always spoke in rhyme and always managed to be plastered by the bell of closing time, with spastic rhythm and flamboyant paradiddles, demi semi quavers and unreliable drum pedals, now a holy trifecta, brothers in arms, a trinity of chances revitalising the local dives. From Wolf Chambers to the Premier, the Pack Horse and the Grove, they rock the watering hole to which they call home to Mitch Fest at Kickbacks and Palladium of the North with pompous sound engineers and an evening with Bob you can label them you can call them what you like they are the beer snobs and they don't mind <laughs>